everybody, my name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. I am currently backpacking solo <laughs> around Thailand. I am currently in the little town of Khao Sok. Yesterday, or yesterday and the night before, I travelled here from Koh Tao. There was a night boat which takes you to Suratani and then a bus transfer which takes you to Khao Sok National Park. It was actually a really, really smooth journey. It cost me 900 baht all in all. But I'm here and last night I have been staying at Coco Hostel which has been actually super, super great. The staff are really friendly. The beds, there wasn't even any top bunks. It was all bottom bunks. And so it was really, really comfortable. I had a good night's sleep. In the hostel, they were offering tours. Now, Khao Sok is like a huge national park with like a big lake and mountains. And so obviously the thing to do here is to go explore that. And it just seemed like it made sense to do a tour that was run by the hostel so that I could make friends and whatnot. And they had two different types. They had a one day tour, so you just out and back in a day, and an overnight tour where you head out there and then you stay the night in like an overwater bungalow and you go hiking and kayaking and swimming and then you come back the next day. That just sounded a lot more appealing. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I have packed my little bag to take overnight. We are leaving our big bags and I'm leaving my valuable bag locked up at the hostel. They have an area for you. You don't have to pay anything extra, but they have somewhere specific where you can put your stuff. So in here, I've just got things like my pajamas, <laughs> my toothbrush and toothpaste and toiletries, a few extra clothes, my swimming costume. That's more or less it. I've got some water. I need to fill it up. Everyone's more or less ready to go. They're just waiting in the reception area of the hostel. We're being picked up very very, very shortly by Ivan and then the adventure is gonna get started. First stop is a local little market just to get some provisions really. We will be fed on the tour but if we want to get snacks or drinks then we can get them right now. We've got 10 minutes here. Here is the entrance to the National Park and the Visitor Centre. The tour itself, two days one night, was 2,500 baht. That includes all of our food and transportation and pretty much everything apart from the fee for the entrance to the national park which is an extra 300 baht and then we also have to pay an extra 70 baht for something we're about to pay those fees now sorry i don't know why i said 70 it's actually 20 baht quite nice for that service fee and this is where we pay our 300 and they're gonna ask to see our thailand pass our vaccination passport and probably also our passport itself i didn't bring my passport but i think just showing a photo of it should be fine here's my ticket that costs 300 baht and then i guess we're gonna head on one of these boats somewhere out there Scott got in the water. Were you allowed to do that? No. <laughs> but it was worth it. Apparently, these three are the symbol of the lake, of the Cow Sock Lake. If you guys didn't believe that I was here, here you go, uh, his proof. <laughs> these three. One, two, three. I think I see our bungalows. Here we are, rocking up in paradise. This is so cool. This is our little bungalow. I'm sharing with Agla. Hello. And this is our room. Mattresses are nice and big. We have a fan and unexpectedly, we even have power. I didn't even bring anything to plug my things in, but good to know. And then you look out here to the bright turquoise water and this funky looking building, I believe is the toilets. So you walk around to the toilets. We got some green curry, we got some rice, we got some chicken, some vegetables. Bon appetit everyone! <laughs> Okay, so we are now going on a hike and it's been a little bit difficult to dress for this hike. It's a bit confusing because apparently as part of the hike, we're going to go into a cave 
and we're going to have to swim underneath the water to get to the other side. And so that basically means that everything on us needs to be waterproof or is just going to get wet. So I have decided I'm not going to wear anything. I'm literally just going to hike the whole thing. It's six kilometers, going to take us around three hours. I'm literally just going to hike in my swimming costume. I'm wearing my trainers and socks because obviously it is a fairly big hike and I've just accepted that those will get wet and then I will be walking with them wet. I'm gonna bring my cap to protect myself from the sun because I feel like that's important and just again, accepting that it's gonna get wet. And then I'll have my GoPro. I'm not gonna bring my phone or anything, but this is fully waterproof. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess this is it. This is the look. I'm hoping I've made some good decisions, but before you do these things, you don't really know. But yeah, let's go. Hiking. We're coming back. Bye bye. See you later. Bye. We're getting a boat to our starting point, wherever that may be. Okay, here we go. We've been dropped off. The hike's beginning. I've set my Apple Watch off. We do need to be careful of leeches, apparently. I will be keeping a keen eye on my legs and arms. Leeches are bitches. Leeches are bitches. They are. I really don't like leeches. They're not nice at all, are they? He's a loud little bugger. Yeah, I do. It's just behind here. Yeah, it's like there. Can you see? It doesn't really move. Oh, yeah. It just kind of stays still. It's very loud. And we've been told not to touch like the new bamboo, like freshly chopped or whatever, because apparently it's quite toxic. And if you touch it, then your skin will be very, very itchy. I won't lie, I really feel like an 80s aerobics instructor with like just wearing my swimsuit and then like high socks and trainers. It's, it's a vibe. The cave, I don't know if you can see that sign, it says 1.5 kilometers away. We can leave we stuff here care. if yeah. we want to, but obviously we're then leaving it for care. three you, you kilometers. Right back with you. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna drop anything here yeah. because no, I literally no, just came as I am. Right. Here we are. <laughs> Nam Tulu Talu, Nam Talu Cave. Oh, it's so cool. Serious. I think that's where we're heading into. <laughs> here we go. Oh my gosh, watching where you're stepping is very hard. <gasps> oh, just oh, yeah. don't yeah. look up and open your mouth because they might poo in it. It's a delicacy. Yeah, it's and it'll be corona all over again. I don't think you'll be able to see the bats on camera, but maybe you can hear them. That yeah. is the biggest spider I've ever seen. That is horrible. It only bites. I don't know if you like spiders, but I do not. Oh, you should go to the Caribbean and play the steel jumps. You could tell I have potential. Yeah, absolutely. Just from that little snippet. What's he touching? A squid. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is where the water gets a bit deep. Ooh, it's chilly. Oh, what's the spell? This is very cool. Okay, now we are really going to swim. Now we are really going to swim. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you touch? Oh, I can't touch the floor. <laughs> oh, no, now I can. Now I can. Okay, it's good, it's good. Touch the floor. Hello. It's really disorientating when um, you're swimming and you just don't know how deep it is and you can't see. Very, very disorientating. He's swimming again. Oh, yeah, it's a tunnel. We see the light. Welcome back. Well, that was fun. <laughs> so not expected at all. And we didn't have to submerge under the water like I thought we were going to. That was just a miscommunication. Um, so we could keep your head above the water the whole time. There was just times at which we were swimming and couldn't touch the floor with our feet. So we're now walking back to the boat. I imagine we've probably got like 
two and a half kilometers of walking to do. But going through that cave was so, so cool. And do you know what's really, really nice? Is when there's just no other tour groups there whatsoever. You're the only ones. It makes it just feel like such a hidden gem. journey and we are back at the bungalows. Hi girls. They look yeah. amazing. Oh I want one. Banana inside. Banana inside. Oh. A roji. Mm. Mm. Yes, no, there's more. That's like a deep fried banana. We have coconut on the inside, outside. We have coconut on the outside. I've never had this. We've just got a bit of downtime really after we get back from the hike. I believe we're going for like some kind of evening night safari at five o'clock. It's just gone four o'clock now, so yeah, we just got an hour or so chilling out. The sun is shining, which is amazing because I don't know if you saw the Koh Tao vlogs and even the Koh Penyang vlogs, like the weather just has not been great where I've been for the past few weeks. So it feels super nice just to have the sun finally shining really hope i don't get too burnt yeah this is glorious so so glad i did this everyone's chilling on the, the kayaks and just in the water and stuff i love the fact that you can like just jump in from anywhere here as well that's really fun oh 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 Okay, we're back on the boat for a bit of an evening safari. I have no idea what we're going to see. It's not even sunset time. I'm not sure why we're heading out at this point. <laughs> it's supposed to be nice though. So. Okay, we think we can see a monkey up there. Can you see anything? We oh, I can see it. I, can see it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's monkey in that tree. Question of the day, can monkeys swim? How would these monkeys get off of this little island and move to another one? Right, Scott is dealing out the cards. I have got no idea what this game is. I'm very bad at card games, but there's some spoons in the middle. Have any of you played this? I lost the first round and I've been eliminated. <laughs> So I shall now observe the others. Dinner is here. Oh, look at that fish. Oh, sorry, the DJI sometimes does not want to focus on what I wanted to. Oh, we got some omelette. Got another massive fish here. Vegetables, curry. Oh, yeah. It's 6.37 in the morning. At seven o'clock, we are gonna be going on a morning river cruise. <laughs> Sorry, I literally just woke up about one minute ago. My brain's not functioning. I need to go clean my teeth and get ready. But it's so peaceful out here. And the sound of the, of the birds and the animals and the creaking doors <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Agla went out there Oh, yeah, yeah, she left it Right over there, 10 past 6 Agla Oh, she's still over there Yeah, I think so, she was I haven't seen her So I can only imagine that she's uh, returning. Good morning! Here they are. It's the sunrise chases. And here is our beautiful ride for the morning. So, Arika! Hello, morning! You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.
Aww. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. And we're coming straight in for breakfast. It's just before eight o'clock right now. So we just had coffee before we went out on the boat. And now we got food. We've got some very fluffy looking food here. Whoa, so, so fluffy. <laughs> oh, and I love that. They've got the kitchen sauce. The kitchen sauce? Yeah. What, what does that mean? Guys, you know what the kitchen sauce What is the kitchen it's sauce? Like, no, I mean, just, I've <laughs> messed with honey or maybe sure. <laughs> We had breakfast and now we've kind of just got the next two hours, two and a half hours to chill around the bungalows, go for a swim, go for a kayak. I've put my swimsuit on the reverse side, which is quite fun. And I think I'm going to kick up the festivities with a backflip. <laughs> Success. Now I'm gonna go for a kayak. Does it have a front or a back? Which that's a front? Yeah. Okay. Oh come on, go bro, you're coming with me. So it's 9.43 and the boys have got the beers out. <laughs> I really like this upside down life jacket vibe going on. It's a new thing. It's really good. Shows off my assets. Yeah, <laughs> your assets. Is it comfy? I think that's a yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a yes. <laughs> okay, I, gave, I caved. I got one as well. It, I didn't even need convincing. I just, I just wanted one. So. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And it's time for the last supper. We got lots of fruit and I think some fried rice. Very, very nice. Okay, we're pulling away, saying goodbye to the bungalows now. Wave goodbye to the bungalows, everyone. Bye bye. And we're heading back to the entrance to the national park and then back to the hostel. And we are back in the hostel. We've checked in, they've already got our dorm beds ready. So this is my butterfly four. And like I said when I arrived, well in fact I don't even know if I mentioned when we arrived, it's amazing that although these are like dorm beds, there's actually no top bunk. There is no risk of getting put on the top bunk. Hello! <laughs> I'll carry on talking. Now we're back in the hostel now and that was a brilliant tour. Highly, highly recommend. It was all organized through Coco Hostel. It was just their overnight lake tour. There's only one of them. There's either a day trip or the overnight one. So like I said, I paid 2,500 baht for the tour itself. Then you paid an extra 300 baht for the national park entrance fee, another 20 baht for a service fee. And then the only other thing I paid for was two beers, which were 80 baht each. So 160 baht. But yeah, it was brilliant. I'd actually go as far to say that that was one of the best things that I've done in Thailand so far. It was really, really brilliant. I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and you wanna see the rest of my Thailand trip. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.